On the 24th of April 2010, Sony Corporation officially announced that it will stop producing 3.5 inch floppies in March 2011. This announcement drew the curtain in the evolution of floppies, or as they are officially called, floppy disk drives. Nowadays floppies with their megabytes seem to us like prehistorical dinosaurs, as there is already a broadband internet, PCs with gigahertz processors, gigabyte RAM and terabyte hard drives. In some years a new generation will not be able to answer why hard drive on their computer is designated as disk C. It all started more than 40 years ago. A group of IBM engineers, guided by Alan Sugart, developed an 8-inch floppy disk drive for storing and transferring computer microprograms. In 1971, after many improvements, IBM introduced it into the market. At that time, numerous disk size standards had been already developed, but eventually 8-inch floppies won and were accepted as a common standard. The disks were made of thin plastic and were covered with ferric oxide. They were put into plastic or hard paper packets, that is, cases. The whole design was quite loose or floppy, that is how the disk got its name. Initially storage capacity of floppies did not exceed 100 kilobytes, while latest versions had storage from 400 kilobytes to 1.6 megabytes. If compared, an 8-inch floppy could substitute about 12,000 punch cards or about 300 meters of punched tape, while rewriting was also possible. In those times, this was a revolution. In 1976, 8-inch floppies were replaced by 5.25-inch versions. The advantages of a new technology were evident. The case became more compact. There was a special material inside, which protected the disk against excessive wear. In the last development stages, a 5-inch floppy had 1.2 megabyte storage. For example, this floppy, made by 3M, is a double-side, high-density disk with exactly 1.2 megabytes capacity. The disk has a special notch. If it's not glued with a special sticker or any other material, then the disk is protected against data being deleted or overwritten. Finally, in 1981, Sony introduced a 3.5-inch floppy. It also went through an aggressive battle of standards, as other companies suggested using 2 or 2.5 or 4-inch disks. Only in 1984, a 3.5-inch disk became a generally recognized standard. The case of the floppy became even harder. Unlike 5-inch floppies, it was protected with a special spring shutter. A special protector was used to prevent deletion or overwriting of data. A maximum storage capacity of a standard floppy is 1.44 megabytes. Using a special utility program, it was possible to increase storage up to 1.7 megabytes and more. To transfer big volumes of data, such as programs, or more often games, archivers like RRJ were used. They could create multi-volume archives of any volume size. For example, 1.44 megabytes, just for a floppy. So by the end of 80s, beginning of 90s, 
a standard set of PC disk drives was formed. That was disk drive A and B for 5 and 3 inch floppies and disk C for a hard drive. Later CD-ROM was added. Besides temporary data storage and its transfer between computers, floppies were also used as system disks. In case of a system failure, you could load into a simple operating system from them. Modern computers, and especially laptops, do not have these drives. The floppy era has ended. However, as strange as it may seem, floppies are still used in quite advanced industries, that is in aviation, to update navigational databases, as well as in metalworking and plastic molding machinery, to load programs. Floppies are also very popular among various government agencies, especially among tax inspection offices.